It is August, and the hottest times are nearly behind us. What's that gull? Is it the ring-billed gull? No, its pink legs and lower bill red spot shows that this is the herring gull. On the Rideau River, the appearance of gull species besides the ring-billed gull is one of the first signs that autumn is approaching. The herring gull likes to eat the eggs and even the young of the ring-billed gull. Not far from this gull, we find a great blue heron. A recent study showed evidence that in the Pacific Northwest, and in response to the recovering bald eagle, great blue herons often favor nesting close to bald eagle nests. Although there is an increased risk of predation from the bald eagle, the presence of the eagle also drives away other predators and thus overall increases nesting success of the great blue heron. What do you think, Heron? What about these mallards across the river? We can see that the male mallard has some of the breeding green on its head. What stage of molting is it going through? Let's take a look at this study of 130 male mallards conducted in 1976 in Manitoba. That's a province of Canada. The authors divided the molting process into seven stages and plotted the distributions of these stages that they found from the 130 mallards. Since the closest stages to August that indicate some green on the head are 3 and 7, either this individual is an unlikely one, or the distribution obtained here may be a bit different than the current distribution in Ontario. It would be interesting to see how this distribution of molting has changed over time. In a tree, we find a morning dove. It is a quiet dove, and the only other pigeon besides the rock dove that is commonly seen in Ontario. The morning dove eats almost entirely plants such as corn, wheat, and foxtails. However, the morning dove can consume a small amount of animal matter such as snails. What about sparrows? Perhaps the most common sparrow found near cities is the invasive house sparrow. But there is a much smaller sparrow that can often be seen feeding in the grass. What kind of sparrow is this? It's the chipping sparrow. Please remember that the chipping sparrow looks somewhat similar to the American tree sparrow. We see that with the American tree sparrow, the line through the eye is reddish or rufous, whereas the line through the eye of the chipping sparrow is black. Also, the American tree sparrow has a two-tone bill, which is yellow on the bottom, whereas the chipping sparrow has a shiny dark gray bill. The chipping sparrow enjoys both plant and animal foods. We see here a juvenile which does not yet have the strong rufous cap struggling with a small insect. Chipping sparrows move very quickly across surfaces to forage for food, so it takes a quick eye to find them. Even though it is a little harder to find birds in these hot months of summer, keep your eye out as there are still many interesting things to see. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again next time.